the concept of anger, I think we have to uh, think about the phases of anger. There are three phases of anger. One is somebody provokes me. I feel angry, okay? I don't have any control over that. Okay? Then there's the phase of anger of how do I react to it? Right? Do I walk away? Do I respond? Do I punch the guy in the face? Do I call him with some nasty name? That's my reaction to anger. And then the other thing is, okay, I didn't have any choice to being feeling angry when I was provoked. How long am I going to hold on to that anger? An hour? A day? 22 years? Right? So in order to keep things straight, I give these three phases three different names. The feeling of anger, I call anger. The reaction to anger, I call rage. And the hanging on to the anger is called resentment. Right? And then if you clarify it, I say, okay, I can do nothing about my feeling of anger other than perhaps take some things in perspective. Right? One of my father's teachings that helped me a great deal was that when somebody did something to my father which should have uh, provoked anger, my father would say, you know, what he did was so foolish. If he only knew how foolish it was what he did, eh, uh, he wouldn't have done it. So, you know, I feel sorry for that person for being such a fool. But if you feel sorry for a person, how can you be angry at him? You know, I feel pity for him. Pity and anger doesn't go together. Uh, but nevertheless, I can't control how I feel when provoked, but I certainly can control what my reaction is going to be. And finally, how long do I hang on to the resentments? My greatest lesson came from Alcoholics Anonymous, where somebody said, harboring a resentment is allowing someone who you don't like to live inside your head without paying any rent. And I'm not that kind of a guy. I'm not a nice guy like that to let somebody else pay. So, uh, AA helped me get rid of resentments. Uh, reacting to anger took me a while, right, to uh, be able to control my rage. And then I had to realize that you know, this is part of my being human. Animals react with rage when, when provoked. Right? I, as a human being, am supposed to be above that. You know? I'm an orthodox homo sapiens. So I learned how to control my anger. So uh, I think those are, if a person keeps those things in mind, right? and there's some people who feel guilty for feeling angry, right? especially at a parent. Right? You don't have a choice. Right? The feeling of anger is nothing to yourself. And if you don't have a choice, there's no reason to feel guilty about it. How you react? Oh. Now, my uh, uh, suggestion is keep an anger journal. Right? Here's what happened today. Right? Somebody did this, is that, and here's not how I did, right? Then at night, you see, at the time that I'm provoked, my thinking isn't clear because I'm under this pressure to, to, to respond. But at night, when I look over what happened during the daytime, and I say, did I handle that in the best way possible? Huh? Could I have done something better? And that becomes a lesson for the next time. Huh? So I think keeping a journal about anger and how we respond to it is an excellent way of learning because ultimately, if I am enraged, it doesn't hurt the other person as much as it hurts me.